Do I say what's up? Welcome back to the channel. What's up, bro? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know. I'll be looking like at the door, like somebody about to walk, like somebody walking in, like, yo, what's good, bro? But I gotta realize, I gotta look at the camera because y'all are officially in my room with me. Y'all officially in my studio with me. What's good, boys? Let's play some games. So we got a big game in Conference USA going down today. Northern Colorado at home against North Dakota State. The record says, says it all. They're 9-1, 6-0 in conference play. They already have the Conference East Division locked up, and they're going to be going to the Conference Championship. We all know what North Dakota State's real goals are, and they're always to be one of the best teams in the league in, in the NCAA. So in order for them to mentally say that they did that this year, they have to finish this year without another loss. And no doubt looking at the schedule, that loss to Indiana on the road. Indiana's a seven and three team, quality power five opponent in year one. I think we can all respect that loss. While at the same time getting a win over Washington, a Pac-12 power five team, even though they're not great when it comes to the record, they're still a talented team. I think we can re respect that win. Then you got Kansas State the, the following week. We won 28 to 24. Kansas State right now is in the driver's seat to win the Big 12. I don't think they're going to win the Big 12. I think it's going to either be Oklahoma or Texas. At this point in the season, that's a huge win over the soon-to-be, if they win out, Big 12 champ. That's a big win. Then all the other wins are just games that we should have won. But these final two weeks were the games that I said early on in the year were going to be the toughest games for North Dakota State this year on the road against Northern Colorado, who's a high powered offense and is gonna to come to play, and at home against Illinois State. Now they may get lucky and not have to face Jerome Adams. He's hurt right now. I don't know how long, if he's gonna play this year or what. I don't know what's going down with that. If they get a healthy Jerome Adams at, for Illinois State in this game in, to end the year, that's gonna be one of the toughest matchups of the year for North Dakota State, no doubt. If North Dakota State can get through both these games when both teams are at their peak playing good, and they come out 11-1. and one. Hands down, give respect to North Dakota State. They are one of the best teams ever in NCAA. And it's in year one. Like, this team is legendary in year one if they can finish 11-1 and one and get through both these opponents. Because that game, th those two games are going to be tough. They just are. They just are. It's just that simple. I already know they are. As for my Northern Colorado fans out there, we got a really good team, man. Defense needs some help in recruiting talent. Offense is one of the best you're gonna see these next couple years. They really are. It shows a good win over TCU, a, a dominant win over BYU. It's just we have those few games and those four losses all show it. We put 28 points on the board. Our defense couldn't stop anybody. Every loss that we have, or three of the losses that we have, the, 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 uh, the winning team, the opponent, put 40 plus on us. And if we can just get some help in the defense and make sure that our team always comes to play, because it does feel like sometimes these guys just try to go through the motions of, of, of the game for Northern Colorado, we could have an undefeated season. There's no doubt about it. It's just, can we string together consecutive good games every time? That's the big question for Northern Colorado. They proved that they couldn't do it this year. They had three and a three and zero start, and then just kind of have been up and down since. For this Ball State loss on the road, we should have lost that game. Ball State snuck it at the end and uh, just ended up getting that win by one point. That one I'm almost counting as a win in all reality. But Ball State credit, they somehow snuck it at home, and it is what it is. We're now six and four. So like I said, man, the offense for Northern Colorado's beastly. Jared Williams, the sophomore QB. His stats kind of show that. 21 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. You're not going to find a better touchdown to interception ratio out of the youngins of my teams in Conference USA or Sunbelt, really, than, than that type of uh, look right there. That's dominant for year one. Him and uh, Gardner Webb, so true sophomore, Phillip Brown, are very similar. They're solid college quarterbacks. They're going to be one of the, like, they're going to be all time great college quarterbacks. But NFL scouts and me personally see backup potential when it comes to the true NFL. Will Bergstand has been a beast for us. He's already over a thousand yards on the season, nine touchdowns on the year, while Nick Patrick's been that that speed back that struggled at times, but also looked lethal at times as well. Reggie Bush, little wannabe, bro. <laughs> I do expect Juco to be back next year. I'm hoping. Don't go to the league yet, bro. You might be a fourth round prospect right now, but you gotta have a good combine and just don't go to the league yet, bro. Come back for your senior year, get your education, graduate or whatever. And uh, trust me, with this offense, you're gonna, you're gonna shoot up boards. 
because next year, look out for Northern Colorado. Tight end Dallas Garrison, been actually pretty good. Charles Maxwell and John Taylor, true playmakers that are going to be our first round type prospects. I, I guarantee it. John Taylor's that, that first round prospect, while Charles Maxwell, if his injuries continue to hit him like they have been all year uh, throughout his co college career, I can see him getting hoed and uh, end up being like a second round pick. Talent, bro, just too much talent for Northern Colorado. As for Barrett Beck, the uh, number one overall QB recruit from last year, North Dakota State starting quarterback, he struggled. Definitely, you see you see little bursts of talent and why he was that number one overall QB recruit, but overall, the game looks like it's just been a little fast for him. He's got some improving to do. He's not NFL ready yet, but we gonna develop you here. Nine and one as a starter, that's something. That's something to go down on, on the resume being like, yeah, I only got one loss under my belt. Don't hold me. Just because my stats aren't what you want, I still am a winner. But this dude right here, Heisman favorite, bro. In year one, I hope he wins the Heisman, man. I really want you to. But the only way you're going to win that Heisman is by continuing to do what you do and making sure this team don't lose another game. 1,400 yards on the year, and we still got two games to go, plus a conference championship game and a bowl game. 21 touchdowns on the year, bro. You might get 30 plus this year, no doubt. You're gonna be a sophomore next year, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna make it a three-year thing or a two-year thing for these guys. I think after two years of being a starter in this in, in NCAA, you can go ahead and declare for the draft if you want to. It's your choice. And assuming this guy doesn't have a regression next year. I'ma let him go to the league. There's no doubt. I won't. I won't keep him here for a third year. That's just not needed. Dude's a beast. While the wide receiver core been solid with uh, Barrett Beck struggling as much as he has, it's not as good as it could have been. Dre Davis, red zone target. Scouts are already oozing over that potential. David Wine and Scott Roberts, just quality quality wide receivers that can catch a ball and run a good route. So. Scouts are still watching that too. Let's get it, boys. Oh, they got big time prospects coming through. Mike Dawson, five-star athlete. Drew Sawwell, a four-star QB. And Joey Martin, a cornerback that we need. Mike Dawson, Joey Martin, all three of them are really big. I want all three of them for this team. That'd be dope. Northern Colorado, you gotta come to play and get a dub, bro. You really do. While well, North Dakota State, you can't lose. Pack Stadium, prime time. What we got, boys? We got a penalty ride with that. That's what we got. Uh, focus up. <laughs> they want a big drive. I promise you, they want to put seven on the board right now, get the crowd in it, and let, let them know that they're here. I'm definitely going to trust the Bill Bergstein to uh, power through this defense. Let's go, bro. Make them feel, make them feel that, that power that you know Will Bergstein got, because that dude is a top prospect as well, man. Go right back to Will Bergstein. He's got to be the muscle today for us. It's going to be a game. And he's looking like he's ready for it. Let's go, bro. Here we go. Hitting up. First target of the day. First catch of the day. Let's go, bro. I want to try to get Nick Patrick involved in this game early because I think his speed is going to be vital towards the end of this game. Bro. That didn't work at all. I take that chance if I will. Coming out in a shotgun formation with Nick Patrick out there. I don't think they're going to be expecting a run at all. So I'm going to stick with it. Give it. Oh, it glitched. Get me there. Get me there, bro. Let's go. Hey, fourth and inches. Hey, we in big games. We got to make big plays. I don't want three. Let's drive down this field. Get that block for me. Let's go, Bergstein. That's first, bro. Keep the drive alive, man. Let's get that seven right now. Big time drive right now. Yes, sir. Hit the tight end. I'll take three yards. They good on that play action. Let's go, Bergstein. Continue to feast, bro. It's going to be your day. Okay. Okay. I see you, eight. I gave Jared Williams the ability to check out this play if he needs it. But it's fairly open. I think we can go any three ways that we want on this triple option. So let's go ahead and go with it. It's a key. Got plenty of space. Hit Bergstein. All right, they rallied quick. We ain't get that. We got two yards. That was a solid probably around 14 to 15 play drive. We couldn't end it with seven. We took a lot of time off the clock in the first quarter. But, hey, a lead is a lead. Both teams are going to come out with a little bit of a victory there. Let's go, boys. We got a game today. I know we do. It's up to Northern Colorado to not make this drive incredibly easy for North Dakota State. 
to make sure that the momentum switch isn't felt. Make sure to keep this game tight because if this drive is easy, that's a big statement. We went for it. All right, respect Seth Henry. I went for it. I went for the big play right off the bat. See if they were ready. Seth Henry came to play. Nope, we couldn't. They kept everything in front of them. Locked down. Tell you I'm all right. okay. First time I get to be on defense for both teams coming up right now. I want to go get them right now. John West, Cody Morton, Damian Jones, Carl Richardson, Grant Richardson, Trey Seward. We got players out here, boys. We got a whole team filled with them. Third and five, I'm gonna send that pressure. Let's lock down, get them off the field. Let's do what we gotta do, boys. Answer the call right now. Get them off. Get them off the field. Yes, sir, they hit the draw. Uh-uh, we was ready for that. Let's go, boys. Poor play calling choice by North Dakota State's OC to start this game. With the second drive. Good. Thank you for wrapping that up, Cedric Morris. What do you think? Oh, JR Paul, you gotta eat him up, bruh. You gotta eat him up, bruh. I think we're gonna have to probably call a little bit more of a zone coverage type of form today. Just seeing it's Adam, not Lee. Uh, just seeing what, what they're what the they're showing. Thank you, JR Paul. Rally to him, gave him no yards. Let's go. Third and four. Let's lock down, boys. I'm gonna go with that same mentality I went with with North Dakota State on third and five. It's now third and four for Northern Colorado. Let's send that pressure. Cover zero. Lock up. Get your boy. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Let's take that to the house, Chris Thomas. Let's go, bro. And since there was no change of possession, I'm still on this side of the ball in Northern Colorado, bro. We about to take a big advantage right now. I can tell. We out here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Bradley. <laughs> I, I, I got respect on your name. I see you, man. They know they need points. They do. Are they going to be able to make it happen? Check, 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 check. Oh, I didn't get the check. They're going to go right back to the beast. He going to do what he has to do, bro. That dude is an animal, man. I respect Bradley so much. He has carried this team when they have needed him. Now watch him do it again. He got the first. Watch him do it again, bro. On a drive that they know they have to do it. Let's eat him up. I'm going to send that pressure. He ain't gonna do it to us the whole drive, Barrett Beck. What you made of, bruh? He gonna get them the solid yards they need, though. Watch that run. I got outside containment. Forced them inside. Brandon Cole. Alright, the backup getting some work in, too. They giving us that toughness test, and we ain't passing it for the defense. We really not. North Dakota State just gonna start running the ball down our throat every drive now until we prove we can stop it. And like I said, this Northern Colorado defense does not have a lot of top-end talent. So, they're going to have to prove they can do it. And right now, they can't stop it. They're going to come out in a three-wide receiver set. I'm going to stick to that base formation. I trust my safeties a lot. One of the best safety duos I probably have. Still send that pressure. Go get them. All right, he got the first. He got rocked, though. Respect to the, uh, the coaching staff at North Dakota State to find the weakness of this defense and punish it. He ain't get in, but they punished it right now. They just ran the ball this entire drive. They haven't thrown it yet. Brandon Cole's gonna be the guy that gets a touchdown. Sucks it wasn't Bradley, but hey, they did what they had to do right there. They really did. I respect that. Pitcher perfect drive would be to drive the ball down the field, get seven, and go into half, 17-7. First and a beast. An underrated talking point would be that we're possibly having a battle against two of the best running backs in the conference with James Bradley and Will Bergstein. But Zach Jackson, Charlie Gibson, and a few other guys would have an argument in that, in that conversation as well. But James Bradley, no doubt, the number one back right now. You can't deny it. But we need this first to start. Let's Oh, Will Bergstein, bro. Big decision, coach. We're going to get gutsy like that. We want this dub. We know, what the, we know what's at stake this week. Recruits, a lot's on the line. We want the win. That's a first. Keep the chains moving. We got two minutes to go. Let's go, boys. One for five on third down conversions. Not good enough. Let's make sure we get this first and slowly get that percentage ticking the right way. Oh, yeah. Gavin Finch did not have the route running ability to stop it because it was a curl route. With Northern Colorado not taking advantage of what they had to do right there, they needed at least three and going to half with just a, a nice little lead. 
They instead gave Barrett Beck a chance to put a statement on this half and get a lead or at least a tie before they head to the locker rooms. Nothing. Oh, big hit, man. Chris Thomas, that dude playing. Dre Davis coming up big. Great blocking, boys. Barry Beck used that athleticism. We real close to field goal situation. We could at least tie this game up going into half. Pitcher perfect game for North Dakota State. Besides that defensive touchdown. And we're on the road. Like, we, we had to expect it. You know, another car I was going to have a few moments that they got up and were able to come to play. But we battled back, stayed resilient, did what we had to do, and just trusted, trusted in ourselves. And don't come out. A solid score going into this half. Let's go, Bradley. Eat up, bruh. We ain't got much time. That, that clock ticking. Let's go. Shit, it's the last play. Barry Beck, bro. Let's go, man. I'm keeping up between me and the rocks. Like the people talk. I can't hear a word outside these walls. Fixed and me shit, cuz. Damn, that's a game right there, bro. Let's go into half. North Dakota State on top. Man, it's a battle, bro. It's up to North Dakota State to realize the statement they can make to start this half by taking a, what would that be, a 10-point lead? Nah, uh, yeah. I don't know. 11-point <laughs> lead. And we're going to feed Bradley this whole drive, I promise you. I know what type of statement we need to make. And I know that the guy that's going to make that statement is Bradley. He ain't going to be denied this year. He really ain't going to be denied this year, bro. He want that trophy, coach. Got the back up. Brandon Colin. Great blocking, boys. Great blocking all the way out to the wide receiver. Great blocking. That's our first. 12 first downs to only four first downs. This game's slowly going into a North Dakota State way. And it's going to be a dominant way if they can continue that. Get those blocks, boys. Let's go, man. Like I said, the stats are slowly just starting to show that we dominated over here. And it starts with that dude, bruh. It do start with that dude right there. Solid drive. They ain't got no answers. Nothing Colorado starting to go away. They feel the talent disparity. Barrett Beck, get you some, bruh. <laughs> I respect it. Use them legs if you got to. Barrett Beck shown and used a lot of his athleticism his true freshman year. I'm definitely hoping next year he kind of develops more as a pocket passer and just trust his arm because dude's got a cannon and it's accurate. I want to see him use it. Nothing. They haven't let Northern Colorado put him in a tough position where they can't get the first. But, you know, if we need it, we just go to Bradley because they can't stop him anyway. Nobody can. In a game as clutch as this, no doubt I'm going to take the points. I ain't chancing it. Let's take that seven point lead and trust what our defense can do. 17-10, North Dakota State's on top. Three minutes to go here in that third. We got a lot of speed, a lot of talent, boys. Let's go send that pressure. Cover zero this whole drive. Let's get them off the field, no points. Put our offense back in a good position. Will Bergstein, not on me, bro. Maybe next year. It's our year, it's our year, North Dakota State. Let's go, bro. All right, first time I've been on Northern Colorado's defense in what feels like a, a long time in terms of in-game. Last time they just ran that ball down our throat. Let's not let them do that to us. Don't let them do that either. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with that same formula right there. We ate that up. Cover three, third and 14. Don't give them nothing. Keep everything in front of us. Let's get them off the field. We gonna launch it. He gonna launch it, Seth Henry, what are you doing, bro? You lost the ball or what? Come on, man, don't bail him out. Don't bail him out, boys. Twenty four ten now. We gotta get going, Northern Colorado. I'm on your side of the ball for offense right now, but we in a tough game now. It's not looking great for us. If Northern Colorado's gonna have a chance, you gotta answer it. Juco. Ooh, shit, I thought that was going to be a completion. Where champions are made. That third down conversion rate is what's doing it to us, boys. We can't keep the chains moving. And it gets us off the field, and now they're they're in a dominant-ass position. 
Bro, come on, man. They gotta. They, this is the drive. It's that simple. What happens? Because you're. It's about to be over. If they if they put any points on the board, game's done. Oh, fucking clutch, bro. It's too clutch. And he got back up. Get you some extra yards. Feast, bro. Third and 11. They had to get us off the field. They couldn't do it. He's fighting for a Heisman right now. He's had a hell of a game. But to cap off a perfect game would be to get in the end zone because he ain't got one yet. In a way, I'm kind of proud of it. They did what they had to do. While Northern Colorado showed up a few times, they got players that I like a lot, bro. The talent was too much. What a dominant, just clutch, shutdown performance from North Dakota State from that first drive out. Go get it. Go get it, bro. Let's go Heisman, bro. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's game. North Dakota State dubs. They get dubs, man. That's a hell of a game. Dominant performance. The game ends at 31 to 10. Get that dude a Heisman, bro. Animal. Don't get me wrong. He's got a hell of a, of a team around him. But the dude has been the leader and the reason. The driving force. When nobody came to play, he always was here, bro. I promise you he always was. Yo, that was a good game, man. I had too much fun with that game. I love these teams. That's a primetime game. And guess what, Northern Colorado, you got talent and you guys did your thing. But the better team won and they dominated y'all. Y'all went away. Y'all got dominated after that first quarter. Y'all got dominated, bro. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that after the first drive. I really wasn't. Barrett Beck did his thing. Bradley, eight. Well, Juco was the only wide receiver that came to play. Will Bergstein did what he could, but the offense just overall could not move the chains. And I think it starts with you, Jared. What happened? What happened after that first drive? You disappeared. All right, boys, I'm out. Thanks for watching. I fuck with y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all support is dope. It really is. Stay blessed. Keep working for you. I promise you, you'll get you'll get what you want. Stay safe, man. I'm out.